problem 17 it says uh, three identical blocks a b and c are placed in a line on a frictionless horizontal floor the blocks a and b are connected with a light spring of constant k the block b and c with a light inextensible cord initially the system is motionless the block a is given a velocity u by surface towards block b when the block b and c are colliding uh, a sound bang was created what should be the minimum length of the cord in order to make this uh, sound bag bang of the maximum loudness so this is a block this is b block this is c block and we are giving the velocity to this block a in this direction u velocity now because of this u velocity you will find this a is going to move forward towards b spring gets getting compressed then b will start moving in this direction so this cord will become loose so there will be no issue of the tension but we need to find this length of this cord so first we are going to analyze the motion of a and b so motion of a and b will be uh, shm with respect to their center of mass now you will uh, see that uh, since a has been given velocity and uh, if we consider a and b together then you'll find the spring force is going to be internal force right so center of mass will have a constant velocity and the velocity of the center of mass is going to be u by 2 because both are of identical mass so center of mass is going to be moving towards right with a velocity u by 2. now with respect to center of mass if we work then you'll find this a b is going to have velocity in this direction initially u by 2 and a will have velocity in this direction initially u by 2 with respect to center of mass then you'll find the center of mass uh, is a fixed then you this this block is moving towards uh, this center of mass then it will be coming back to the mean position then going away then coming like this so b is going to do shm similarly a will also be doing the shm now this a and b shm will have a time period so we can find out the time period this time period is going to be like this consider this picture this is center of mass which is fixed and this spring is going to be half because both were of identical mass so center of mass will be exactly at midpoint so this will be having spring constant as twice k because we know uh, spring constant is inversely proportional to the length and this block b of mass m is performing as such m so this is a simple block uh, spring system and its time period is 2 pi underwood the mass divided by spring constant so it's going to be 2 pi underwood m by twice k the same time period is going to be for a as well because they have the same uh, values like a spring constant in the mass now the question is uh, that the sound bank should have a maximum loudness so b and c they are going to collide and the sound energy has to be max now if we want sound energy to be max that means the energy that b possesses or has must be max that means b must be having maximum kinetic energy now we need to ensure that b should have a maximum kinetic energy we can think of uh, with respect to center of mass we talk that th this b must be uh, in this equilibrium position then only it will have a maximum velocity as u by 2 and when it is coming towards c that's going to be the time to impact so b uh, will have a maximum velocity when it comes to the equilibrium position or relaxed position and that will be occurring for the first time when it is completing this half of the uh, round or maybe uh, one and a half round or maybe uh, two and a half round in this manner that means this will occur at times uh, t by 2 3 t by 2 5 t by 2 that means odd multiple of t by 2 in these times we will have uh, the maximum kinetic energy and that will be the right time to collide with c in order to get the maximum loudness now you'll find um, if this is occurring at this time then uh, how much b has moved in the forward direction now since b came to the relaxed position again right when it is colliding so the length traveled by b or the displacement of b must be same as the displacement displacement of center of mass so we can say the length of the cord should be l is equal to center of mass velocity into time now center of mass velocity is u by 2 we have already calculated and time we, we said that odd multiple of t by 2 so this becomes the length of the cord 
Now we want the length of the chord should be least minimum value of the length of the chord. So that will occur when n is taken as a zero. So it will become u into t by four by just putting the n equal to zero. Now, then you know u is uh, u that's given. T is uh, two pi under root m by twice k. So we can substitute over here, and that will lead to a final answer as pi u by two within root m by twice k. So that becomes the minimum length of the chord for the given situation to match. Hence, we will say that this is our final answer. Thank you.